Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 20th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the NG4 directive. Alright then, so in this tutorial we're going to look at another structural directive called NG4. And what NG4 allows us to do is loop through some data and kind of output multiple series of um, HTML tags for each one of those data items and it's all going to become clear as we go through this tutorial. So say for example in this series we're going to have a list of ninjas. We're not just going to have one ninja, we're going to have a series of them. There might be five, six, seven, eight, whatever. And what we want to do for each ninja is output some HTML, for example um, a list item tag and in each list item we're going to output the data of that particular ninja. So we want to cycle through the ninjas and output some code for each one, right? Now instead of hard coding that for each ninja um, and after all, we're not going to know how many ninjas we will have in the data. There could be four, uh, four, there could be ten. So we don't know how many to code. Instead of doing that, we're going to use ng4, and that's going to output however many we need for us. Okay? So let's get rid of this stuff first of all. And what I'm going to do is get rid of this as well. And we're going to start building up this directory. So we'll say h2 first of all. And we'll say ninja listing at the top. Then underneath this, I'm going to do a ul tag. And this is going to have an ID of ninja-listing. This is just for the CSS to look good. And then underneath that, what we're going to do is an li tag, like so. And this is where we're going to use the ng4, okay? So the way we do this is by using a little asterisk, first of all, and then saying ng4 and setting it equal to something. And what we set it equal to is let ninja, and I'm going to explain this in a second, of ninjas. So, let is just a keyword. We put that at the start to say, look, let in this kind of local scope right here, let ninja be the local variable for the particular ninja that we're looping through. And this is going to be a collection of ninjas. So we need to define this ninjas collection on the directory component. So let's do that. I'm going to get rid of these two things right here and I'm going to create a new variable called ninjas. And this is going to be equal to an array because ng4 loops through an array of objects, if you like, or an array of data. Okay. So this right here refers to the array ninjas. So if we start to pad this array out, each ninja is going to be an object and it's going to have a name property and we'll call this first one Yoshi and give it also a belt. We won't go down, we'll just say belt. And this is gonna be black for Yoshi. Okay, so that's our first ninja. Then we're gonna do another. I'm just gonna copy and paste this because I'm super lazy. Paste it in and we'll call this one Ryu. And the belt is gonna be red. And then finally, we'll do one more. And we'll call this crystal. And this time the belt color is going to be, I don't know, purple. Okay, so now we've got our collection of ninjas. So in the code over here, it's going to loop through this ninjas array. And it's going to output an li tag for each ninja. Okay? And in each time around that loop, in each li tag, the particular ninja that it's currently outputting is going to be referred to as this local variable ninja. Okay, so if I now use string interpolation to output ninja.name, okay, because it's got a name property right here, then each time around it's going to print out the name of that particular ninja. So first of all, it's going to do an li tag and it's going to grab the first ninja in the array, which is Yoshi, and it's going to output Yoshi. Then it's going to go back through the loop and next time around ninja is going to be the second item in the array, which is Ryu. And it's going to output Ryu. And then third time around, Ninja is going to refer to Crystal. Okay. So if we save this now and check it out in a browser, refresh over here, then now we're going to see these three names output right here, Yoshi, Ryu, and Crystal. Pretty cool, right? But we don't just want to output just the name of the Ninja each time. We want to output a little bit more code. Now, I've already copied and pasted some of the code I want to output here. So I'm just going to paste it in and I'll walk you through it. So let me just zoom this over. Okay, so each time around we have a div 
within the li tag and that's got a class of single ninja again this is just for css purposes so it looks good little comment saying belt color because i'm going to output the belt color right now and this is in a span tag and you'll notice right now i'm using ng style now this is an attribute directive and similar to ng class i'm using property binding right here and then setting it equal to an object and i'm saying the background of this particular span tag is going to be the color of ninja.belt and remember we're passed through ninja on each iteration of this li output so it's going to refer to this thing right here black red or purple so it's going to set the background color of this span tag to whatever color we've supplied in this object right here for the belt okay ninja.belt then within the span tag we're outputting the ninja.belt text so that's going to be either red, black, or purple, and then just some text after it saying belt. Cool. So then we're outputting the ninja name, and we're doing a H3 with the ninja.name. We saw this a minute ago, and that's going to be either Yoshi, Crystal, or Ryu. And then finally, if we're doing this click event, which we're actually just going to delete for now, we don't need that in. So what I want to do now is save this and view it in a browser. So if we head over here and refresh, Cool, now we are gonna see each of these belts, the background color determined by what we've put in the object for the belt. And then it's outputting the name of that as well, black, red, and purple. And then the name of each of these ninjas as well next to them. Pretty cool, right? So that is what NG4 does. It loops through an array, which we've defined ourselves right here. And we don't have to define this ourselves. We can use something like Firebase and then request that information from Firebase. And I'm gonna show you how we do that later on. Um, so once we've got that array, then we can say we want to use ng4 to loop through that array. And we're saying on each iteration of this loop, each time we output this li tag, we want to refer to whatever item in the array we're currently cycling through as ninja. So each time around, the item is referred to as ninja. Then we can do things like saying output ninja.belt or ninja.name, okay? And we can combine them either using string interpolation or directives like this and use them as objects within objects, okay? So there we go. That is ng4. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.